Hey everybody, welcome to today's channel. Today's video, guess what we're doing? We are going to pick up a purse that I ordered online. Um, I ordered it from Nordstrom, but it's getting delivered to Nordstrom's rack. So it just came in today, and we're gonna do a what's in my bag, and a bag switch and I'm going to be selling the purse that I'm using right now so if you're interested in this kind of video stay tuned because there's going to be some new stuff involved and yeah we love what's in my bag videos right okay guys I will take you to Nordstrom's rack with me we are here I can't wait to see this purse <clears throat> so you guys I was looking online and I always find exactly what I'm looking for when I'm not looking for. So when I found this bag, I'm gonna do an unboxing, all that good stuff. Um, I was like, when I get that, oh my gosh, when I see it, that's when I know I love it. I have to have it. So you guys will see in just a minute. Okay, got the package. Now let's hop in the car. And see what's in. Okay, so who am I to miss a thrift store when there's one like right down the street? So we're gonna hit there first. So I literally could not video in there because it was like a nightclub. The music was just bumping. Couldn't hear myself think in there, but I did not walk out empty handed. Here you go. I found this really, really pretty Valencia Holland leather handbag um crossbody bag look at the detail on the front it's so pretty excuse my uh marker on my fingers i was looking through the purses and there was an open marker in one and i marked up my hands real good so yeah doesn't look too attractive there does it but it's got a nice pocket here on the back my bags that i thrift are for resale if you're new and I list all my items in the description box below when I thrift them. So it's just a super beautiful vintage Valenta Holland crossbody and it's large. So that's the only one we got in there. Um, we are going to go and unbox my new purse. And then I'll show you the bag I'm using at the moment after I unbox my new one. And that too will be for sale, okay? Okay, you guys, so we're home. We're back at my house. We're in the living room. And we're going to unbox the purse that I purchased myself. And then I'm going to show you everything that's in the purse I'm using now. And I'm done with this one now. So if anybody wants to purchase it, it will be in the description down below. Out with one bag, in with a new bag. So um, let's go ahead and show you this one real quick let's see and get my it's kind of you'll see it's, it holds a lot and I've got a lot in it so this is an Elliot Luca <clears throat> Elliot Luca leather bucket style with the cute little drawstring on it it's all leather um, it's got this nice large front pocket on it it's got these leather tassels for a little le leather tassel pull and it's cute it's in pre-loved condition and I thrifted it actually. So if you guys are interested, then after it's empty, I'll show you everything else. But let's get on to what's in this guy here. Let's see. Let's go back a little. I just ripped that bad boy open. Why not? Why not? So let me know what's on everybody's purse Christmas wish list this year. If you guys had your dream bag or maybe it's just a bag that you're hoping to get, um, what's on your wish list? I'd love to know. I actually do not have a wish list because um, I'm not one that's like 100 into the really high-end bags. I guess if I were to say if I were to put a bag on my wish list and the reason why I haven't bought it would be the reason the one I do want would be the Prada crystal bag the little re-edition um, little Prada baguette that's got all the rhinestones on it that would be on my wish list 
but I can't justify right now spending that much money for such a tiny bag. And I think they're about $2,500 brand new off the website. So that would be on my wish list. That would be something that I would want, but uh, not getting it because I just, ooh, this is a big one. Wow, this is cool, okay. So this is just my receipt and stuff. And when I saw this, I died. It's just me, it's just totally me. Um, definitely gonna be big enough for all my goodies. And some. And I've never, ever, ever found anything like this in the thrift store, so I, per I splurged and I got it for myself. So, it is a, this is called the Teddy Bag, which it's like a um, Sherpa fabric. Can you guys see that? And it has the most beautiful pearl heart on the front. It's got leather handles on it. Ooh, it's big, I love it. Uh, the price on it, I will link it below for you guys if you want one. Um, they also come in an off-white, did they have pink? I can't remember if they had pink or not, but I'll definitely link it below. Silica. But you guys can see, it's so cute. So yeah, I'll link it below if anybody's interested. Um, I will wear this in the summer too because that's what I do. You guys already know, I don't care what it's made of. I don't care what color it is, but I love the size of it. And I love that, it, that it's Sherpa. So this bag is called, it's by BTB Los Angeles. B-U, oh, Beyond the Beach. Beyond the Beach, okay? So that's the name of the company. It's from out here. And is there a name on it? No certain name that I see. Okay, and I did get it off of the Nordstrom, not Nordstrom's rack, but I did get it off the Nordy's website, okay? All right, so this is the bag. Look at the size difference, you guys. And I'm going to switch out now. And you guys are gonna see what I'm putting in my new purse. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and clip, clip my tags off because I'm not gonna be returning it. So if you guys like the Sherpa Teddy look that's in right now, that's always in every year. It's not just in this year, it's in all the time. And you may really love this if you love a tote bag. You guys know I love tote bags. Love, love, love. And then when I got it and I was like, ooh, pearls, how cute even to wear for Valentine's Day. Let's just show you the pearls up close. Yeah, you can't really tell how adorable it is in person, but trust me, it's so cute. Okay, so in my bag, I don't know if I've got anything in this front pocket here. I'm not sure. Let's aim you down just a little. Hopefully you won't fall off. Okay, there, now you guys can see better what is in my purse. Okay, so you guys can see. So, nothing in here. Like I said, if you guys want this purse, it's gonna be listed in the description for sale, along with the one that I just thrifted just a little while ago, the Valencia Holland. Okay, so to start off, I love, love, love the smell of this um, Soap and Glory. This is my hand lotion. It's actually a body butter, but I use it as a hand lotion and I really, really love it. It smells amazing. I'm already half done, but I love that. So I've got that. I've got my mirror. If you've been with me for a while, you know Randy bought this for me a couple years ago from Things Remembered. It's full of rhinestones and it has my initials on it and it's a double-sided mirror. So that will stay in my bag. I don't know if I've got anything I'm taking out actually. My keys. And I keep my long tassel on it because 
it's easier to find in my purse. And I could actually maybe hang it on the outside. I'm not sure yet, but I'll probably keep it on the inside. So that's just my car keys, my house key, and my P.O. Box keys on a leather, long, it's a long leather tassel. Oh, this. So I went to, you guys remember when I went to, with Randy to that um, little craft sale dealio that was in um, Redlands, Redlands, California. This was something that I had to pick up. It's my little cosmetic case. Don't be a salty biatch. And it's got the little girl from the salt emblem. I think it's so cute. So I got that and it's cramp pack too. What do I have in here? I have my glass nail file. These are my favorite. Since I'm not getting my nails done anymore, just cause I literally I've run out of time to go get my nails done. I definitely make sure I carry a file for when they break or, or whatever. I like glass files best. Um, this is my favorite lip liner by Mac and it's stone. Is this my stone? Yeah, this is my stone color I love. It's my favorite brown neutral. Um, I carry this everywhere. It's just a little goodie and it's vintage actually. These are freaking expensive, you guys. If you look on eBay, these little vintage brush comb sets are redonkulously expensive. So I carry that with me. Um, this is something else I got at the little craft fair that I got this at. There was a lady who was selling blinged out. Um, this is a Carmex. I was hoping you guys can see all the, can you guys see the bling on it? It's so cute. They're all Swarovski crystals. Yeah, I'm that girl. And it's just a Carmex. So I carry that with me because I love Carmex. Let's see. There you go. Now you guys can see it. Isn't that adorable? Got that in there. I have a cherry chapstick. And you guys, if you want to do something really natural with more of a pouty lip, use a burgundy color lip liner and use just this cherry chapstick as the color. And it's really cool. You'll get like a blushy pout. It's really, really pretty. Um, this is my favorite color in by MAC. Do I have my readers in here? Oh, here's my readers over here. Let me grab them real quick. These should be in my purse anyways. Um, so my favorite lipstick by MAC is Act Natural, and it's a matte lipstick number 651. Really, really love this color a lot. And that's the one I wear with my MAC Stone Liner. So that would be my favorite duo as far as like a brown color. Really love those. And then these are my pink readers, no name, probably from the Dollar Tree or something like that. I have a snack because when I'm out and about, I thrift all day long. And instead of going through a drive through and picking up something really fattening and quick, which I'm very, very famous for doing, I'm trying to stop doing that. But I just have a Lara bar in here and it is uh, just real, four real ingredients. It's got, these are kind of good too. They're not bad at all. Um, so this one's peanut butter chocolate chip. It's plant-based, gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan. No artificial sweeteners. So we went ahead and I like to keep something like that in my bag. This is my little medicine pouch. You guys have probably seen it. I don't switch pouches out too much, so you probably saw this in my last video. And it's a little hair on hide leopard um, bag. And then this is what I carry. Same as you've seen in my last video. Nothing's changed in here, I don't think. Um, carry my Pepto tabs, because I have a very weak tummy. This lipstick, if you're new here, you've never seen this. If you're not new, you've seen it a million times. Looks like a lipstick, but it's a little pill holder, and I keep a Vibrant in here. I like to keep it separate. There's a little Vibrin tablet. And a Vibrin just gives me extra energy when I'm really, really running low on energy. So it looks like a lipstick, but it's not a lipstick. Um, I have my tissues and I thrifted this super cute little uh, tissue holder. I think I got it for a dollar. 
at a thrift store that I love going to. It's um, although all proceeds go to homeless pets, and I love that. My measuring tape for when I'm out measuring, or if I need it on a whim when you guys, when I'm selling purses to you guys and you need a measurement. If I can't find mine, I'll know that there's one in my bag, so we have that. Um, this is my little leather kitty cat coin purse, and in it I carry my two favorite stones, which is my malachite and my um, citrine. So those go everywhere with me as well. There's so many things in here like I don't need to carry, but when I take them out, I feel, I feel naked. I feel like I have to, have to have. Forgot to show you everything else. I feel like I really need these things. I've tried so many times to use a smaller bag and I just can't, I just cannot. My little Ray Dunn pill container, this just has some, um, that's like a really sick tummy uh, pill and that my daughter prescribed for me when my stomach is like a real bad, like I feel like I'm in a heave ho, I'll take one of these. And then I have Tylenol and some more Pepto tabs in here. And it's even got a little mirror on it. So in all actuality, you guys, I don't even need to carry this, but I can't break free from it because it's from Randy for Christmas one year and it's really special, I love it. I have got my daily planner. And of course, I've got a pen that will go in here with that too, somewhere. Here's one pen. And a highlighter just in case. Do I ever use a highlighter? No, I don't. Uh, oh, my debit card, we're not gonna show you that. That needs to go in my wallet. So this is my wallet that I have been using nonstop since I purchased it. I love it. It is from Free People. If you want it, I can link this as well. I'll link my purse and my wallet in case you guys are interested. I can't really read the name on it. Um, it's embossed on here. Let's see if I can, oh, okay. It's C-A-M-P-O-M-A-G-G-I. And there's a serial number on it. And made in Italy. But I love it because I love all the jewels on the front, very boho. And it's just a really nice leather zip around wallet. It's my favorite, and I think I said last time that I probably wouldn't be switching out wallets. Well, that's the truth. I have not switched out since. Um, in this back pocket, you know, I keep cash, receipts, coupons. This is for coin. This little snap pocket's for coin. It's a raw leather. Um, and then I keep my most used cards right here. And I'm going to put my debit card back in there. And then I put my additional debit cards or my additional cards, like gift cards and things right there. So it sips all the way around. That's the back. And then I just love it. I think it's so pretty. So haven't changed out, probably won't change out, but I'll link the wallet for you too if you're interested. I have my Sunnies, my Ray-Bans, and these are the ones I carry with me all the time. I've had these probably six years now. Um, I like them because I have a narrow face and they fit my face well. So, have those. And then I have, oh, oh my gosh. Every time Randy and I go to a restaurant, we get a mint or two. I guess that shows we eat out at nice restaurants a lot. Or not necessarily nice, but restaurants. I have all kinds of little mints in here and I just keep them in my bag in case I feel like you got bad breath or something I can toss you one real quick you know another pin I like this one's from Holy Cow Couture I think that one's really cute and what's is there anything in the zipper pocket yes I keep all my zip fizzes in my zipper pocket so if I'm out and about and I want to grab a water these taste super yummy and they give me energy so there's orange and strawberry and cherry and grape. Love those things. And I think that's it. So here's the purse, you guys, if you want it. It's by Elliot Luca. The interior is really cute. There's a hot pink interior on that zipper pocket. 
There's the inside, cute fabric, pre-loved condition, still lots and lots of years of use. If you like a boho style bag, I really think you'll like this. And then like I was showing you, it's got the big front zipper pocket on it. And then it's got the little, it's also zipper top at the top, zipper top at the top, okay Kim. Little tassels, adjustable crossbody. And now, so that'll be listed. I'm going to go ahead and put everything into my new purse. Ooh, I got a mess on the table. Look at all that. It's definitely, definitely big. I love it. Love, love, love. My wallet, and you guys have seen me do this like a million times. I do not organize shit, okay? I do not organize, I do not care. I like just having my stuff in there and if I'm looking for it, I'll find it. Glasses, but I do like to keep my medications, oh duh. Gas X and earplugs are in here too because if my honey and I are out for a night somewhere, he snores like a grizzly bear, like an old burr. Let's see, where's the old medication at? Here's one. Here's one, and then my little lipstick one. And they all just go in this little pouch. Or not, we'll take that out. What kind of pockets do you have? You have a slip pocket. A big, gigantic slip pocket in this adorable guy. Let's go ahead and put all my little cosmetic -y things back in my little salty bitch, salty biatch bag. You guys gotta get one of these. I'm really, I even ordered, you guys, I ordered a Tide to Go, bedazzled Tide to Go. So that'll be in my purse as soon as it gets here. Don't know when it's gonna get here, but you know, it'll be so cute. Oh, here is my lip liner. I think that's it. Obviously my phone, I'm filming with my phone and that'll go in my um, pocket right here. My Zip Fizz, bam, will go there. My Larabar will go there. Look how organized this is, man. Tissues will go there. I have a special spot for my mirror right over there. Um, a very special pot spot for my pins so they don't leak because I'm that person who does not want pin marks at the bottom of my purse and they're gonna go right there I don't give it I don't give a rat's bootay if I get pin marks on the bottom of my purse I don't I'm not that girl I'm very very simple now this is a special piece very expensive and it's special spots right there gotta have this on hand right there and then this will go right there and then oh let's put my chapstick back Anybody else in here like to organize their bag super, I mean, amazingly like I do? Anybody else? Look at this organization right here. And then my keys. Now that's an organized bag. So this is it, you guys. I hope you like this What's in My Bag. I'm going to link this below, and I'm going to link my wallet below, and everything else. Mm, I'm not going to be linking because... It'll take me like 16 years and 95% of it's thrifted anyway. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for following. I love my new purse so much. So cute, super me. And if you want one, go get you one. All right, everybody, stay humble, stay kind. Remember that? And I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Goodbye, friends.